Hey guys, welcome back. Woo, okay. Welcome back to Forever Freaky Funko. My name is Anthony. Guys, we have a second mega haul of Funko Pops, man. I'm looking around here and I'm just... I don't even know where to begin. You like Star Wars? I got you covered. Um, you like Michael Jordan, Lilo and Stitch. You like the Netflix series Black Mirror? I got you covered. You like Trolls? I got you covered. You like Harry Potter? I got you covered. You like My Hero Academia? I got you covered. Dragon Ball Z? I got you covered, man. Like, and more. And more. All right? So, I'm going to get started. We got a lot of pops to cover. Unfortunately, I'm not going to unbox all of them, but there are a couple I'm going to unbox, and you'll see why in a minute. So, a little bit of surprise. Stay tuned. Trust me. I'm going to go through pops. I'm going to go through them as quick as I can. But guys, these are in stores now. Some of them you're going to be like, oh yeah, I've already seen that. Some of them you're going to be like, what? That's out already? There are a few I'm going to unbox just because I have to, because I need to show you something cool. So, all right, I'm going to jump in. You've probably already seen this, but we got Gizmo riding in the car. Picked this up at Hot Topic. Um, really cool pop. It has a cool picture right there. You love Gremlins like I do. Grew up watching Gremlins. This is a must-have. Pop ride out in stores now. Um, Hot Top exclusive. I think I've shown this one before. If not, just want to throw it out there. John Wick with his dog is out. Um, the, I actually found a second one because I can't find these anymore in other stores. I actually was at Walmart and I found this guy at Walmart. So um, in case you're wondering, at my Walmart, John Wick is there. All right. How about 10-inch Michael Jordan? There's a couple that dropped. This is the, I believe this is the home jersey. So we got the 10-inch Michael Jordan with the red jersey, number 23, the basketball. wonder if they're ever going to make one that's a 45 when he came back after retirement. Don't know, um, but I definitely have the other ones from the Tar Heels and all those pre-ordered uh, through GameStop. So got those on pre-order when those drop. But 10-inch Michael Jordan arguably my opinion the best player that ever existed and best player to ever play the game but then again i did watch michael jordan growing up um and i watched his entire career from the tar heels because i'm a tar heel fan that is my number one team north carolina tar heels no i'm not from north carolina my dad's a tar heel fan grew up watching the tar heels grew up watching michael jordan play for the tar heels grew up watching michael jordan play for the bulls even though i'm a celtics fan still a jordan fan always will be um phenomenal 10 inch pop there's also a Foot Locker 10 inch that i didn't get because it was almost 50 bucks and then they wanted plus shipping that was without shipping plus shipping and i don't trust Foot Locker to ship it undamaged so i didn't pull the trigger on that one i'm sure i'll eventually get it all right now some other pops you've probably seen again guys there's gonna be pops here that you haven't seen brand new dropped dropped today matter of fact we got lilo and stitch that one dropped yesterday in case you haven't gotten that one, Hulu um, Stitch, that one is out. Uh, update, some Hot Topics, but most did not get the, um, just letting you know, did not get the Ben from Umbrella Academy. There's a glow-in-the-dark version of Ben, and there's also a Chase variant uh, of Ben that I believe is going to be coming out at Hot Topic as well, because I haven't seen the Chase anywhere else um, for Umbrella Academy for Ben. So... My Hot Topic, the release date was yesterday. They postponed the release date to today. My Hot Topic in my area, I just came back out of town. The Hot Topic's over there as well. They don't have, they still don't have him in store. You can buy him online, hottopic.com, and hopefully you get a chase. They don't have him in stores yet. Um, they didn't come in today's shipment either. So they're at least in my area, I'm not saying yours, go check your stores, call your Hot Topic. Um, they're not out in my area yet, even though the release date was two days ago. They moved the release date to today. It's still not out today. So check your stores. Also, I already got my t-shirt in a box from Glow All Might. That is a Hot Topic exclusive. It's a different Glow for All Might uh, online because that one isn't in stores either. And it should already have dropped in stores. Maybe in your Hot Topics they have, in mine they haven't. So I went ahead and just bought that one online. Just so you know it is available, My Hero Academia. All right. Now, on to more pops, guys. I got some badass ones to show you. We're going to go through the Knights of Ren. Have you seen the new Star Wars movie? Some people like it. Some people don't. Um, this is a spoiler-free video, so I'm not going to say nothing except that I enjoyed the movie. Period. I enjoyed it. But these are the these are not chrome. But these are metallic Knights of Ren 
um, I think that are absolutely amazing. I pre-ordered these through GameStop, and I actually have the whole set here. Um, and even if you didn't pre-order them, you can probably now find them in stores. Um, but yeah, I pre-ordered these. I did get these in a week ago. I just haven't shown them. Um, I did tell you guys I was going to do a Star Wars video. Um, I had to go out of town uh, during the Christmas holiday to visit my dad. He's not doing so good right now. Um, so I uh, had to leave town, visit him. Took my daughter with me, just my daughter and myself. Uh, went out of town. But here is uh, the Knights of Ren. There are six of them here. These are really cool. Uh, a lot different from the other ones just because they have that metallic look. I would love to unbox these for you guys, but I'm telling you, I got a lot of pops to show you, and I don't want to make, even though I have before, a 25, 30 minute video by unboxing these one at a time. But these are definitely, in my opinion, worth collecting. Um, I don't feel like, I know they make probably, what, 30, 40, 50,000 of each Star Wars pop, it seems like. I don't know if they're going to make that many of these. Not saying they're not. Um, I haven't seen them that much in stores. So either they're selling out or they just didn't send in stores a lot. Not saying that they're not going to make 15, 20, 30,000 of these things. But I just don't feel like they're going to make as much of these as they would Rey, Kylo Ren, you know, some of the other real popular characters. And we still have some more Star Wars pops dropping, like the Rey. Uh, I call her Dark Rey with the double-sided blade. Uh, that one's still coming out. Um... And I didn't put it in the video. I think I put it in another video, but I do have the 10 inch Kylo Ren glow in the dark. That one's awesome too. All right. Um, here's a little bit of Dragon Ball Z. I got everything, guys. If Whatever genre you like is probably going to be in this video. So stay tuned. All these pops are in stores now. This is a box lunch exclusive. Just so you also know, um, in case you don't have a box lunch, I have one about an hour away from me. Um, uh, Brianna of Tart just came out as well, Box Lunch exclusive. She is available online from Game of Thrones if you're interested in that. This was my last pop from BlitzCon. Uh, BlizzardCon does a con every year, just like San Diego and everybody else, but it's from Blizzard Entertainment, hence the Overwatch. I'm wearing Mercy's uh, hoodie today. I have almost all the hoodies now from Overwatch. And we got Tracer. Um, this is the new Tracer BlitzCon exclusive. Funko Pop. So now that completes all of my BlitzCon Pops that I have for Overwatch. I have almost, I would say almost, every Overwatch Pop. I'm a huge Overwatch fan. Um, in case you're wondering, I do suck at the game. <laughs> I have played it. I'm not that great at it, but I love watching it. I love watching people play and I love the characters. So I love, love, love. I have to put this one back in a protector. So I'm going to put it right here. Love, Tracer, all the characters. They're pretty dope. All right. Have you heard of a game called Guild Wars? Well, this is from Guild Wars 2. This is Joko. Really cool pop. Just dropped today. Just dropped today. That is a sick, sick, sick looking pop. There's actually three of them until they come out with some exclusive ones. Um, we got three on the back. And the only one I'm missing is this one here. Um... Don't have my glasses on, but I think that's a uh, hot height lock, something like that. But um, this is from Guild uh, Guild Wars 2. Really cool looking pop. I have to get them sideways to try to stop the glare from happening. Really cool Funko Pop. Um, I got the second one, which is a dragon. We got Baby. I can't pronounce the last name. I don't play the game, by the way. Um, but I do collect a lot of video game pops just really because they're badass. I'm going to be honest with you. They're just super cool. Like, this is a dope pop. Um, look at how cool that one is. Just like the one you saw before this one. Really cool pop. And uh, really enjoy those. And I noticed that sometimes, like, you know, not saying it's not a famous game or anything. But sometimes Funko doesn't make a whole bunch of these like they do other pops. Um, they definitely make a lot more Overwatch pops than they would make of Guild Wars. So when I see these, I have to snatch them up because I know uh, the quantity isn't there. And uh, eventually when more people find out about Funko Pops, and yes, believe it or not, there are still people that don't know Funko Pops exist. I know it's weird to think that, but thousands, actually millions of people still don't know about Funko Pops. Um, when people find out about it and they, if they like the game and stuff, they're going to want to collect some of the older ones. So those will be worth money one day for sure. Tracer, you're staying here. I love you. All right. Real quick, finally dropped 
Barnes and Noble two pack. Um, I've been waiting for this one. Uh, it does cost twenty seven ninety nine, a little bit pricey. Um, I I do have the membership with them, so I got ten percent off of that. Um, they did have a few in the store, so I don't know if they're necessarily going to sell out. But in case you're wondering, box, uh, sorry, not box lunch, Barnes and Noble exclusive Harry Potter out in stores now. Um, and again, guys, I'm just running through these. This is part of the new set that came out too, just so you know. Now, yours might have dropped already in your area. I just bear my Barnes and Noble just got it, so it just dropped recently, just a few days ago. So I finally picked this one up because it finally dropped, and I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. And I have a lot of their pops. Um, most of them, if not all of them, except for the super crazy expensive ones. Have you guys seen that? Guys, there's more pops. I still have, a, and there's some unboxings I'm still doing. More stuff coming. Stay tuned. Trust me. You're going to like it. Trust me. We got my hero. We got other stuff. All right. Have you seen the TV show Witcher? I know it's off of a video game. I love the video game. Those are the pops uh, from the game. Um, I do have all of them except for the one I'm about to show you. I do have all of them. Matter of fact, somewhere on my desk is probably behind my computer. I actually have him out of the box. Um, but Witcher video game, they made a TV show about it with uh, Henry Cavill, which was Superman, uh, plays um, Geralt. And so this is a glow-in-the-dark exclusive, which I'm sure that's the only thing that's going to glow. Don't know yet. Haven't tested it. But this is... Um, Henry Cavill's, uh, that's the actor that plays The Witcher. It's a really cool show. I just finished season one on it on Netflix. It's produced, made by Netflix. I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, it can be a little confusing because they kind of go back and forth. Um, a lot of different storylines and they go back and forth without really um, explaining like this is a flashback or something. They kind of just throw it at you. A little bit strange in that aspect, but it's a really good show. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth binge watching, especially if you are somebody who gets a little bit of extra time off during the Christmas holiday or during um, the New Year's holiday coming up. So uh, definitely cool show. This just dropped today, guys. Glow in the dark. Um, got mine pre-ordered. So I pre-order a lot of stuff. If I if I really want it the day it comes out, sometimes when you pre-order it, you actually get it a few days, unless there's a release date on it, you get it a few days before anybody else does. Sometimes you get it a week before anybody else does. So I like to pre-order a lot of my pops, but there he is, uh, only at GameStop. So if you're wondering where you can pick him up, Think Geek or GameStop does have them. He did drop today. Awesome pop. Awesome pop. And I do have that whole set. Um, and Yennefer, which is a great character on the show, her pop is worth $85. And, um, I believe Triss, one of them is already vaulted and these came out in 2017 <laughs> and they already vaulted on one of them. The rest of them are going to vault soon. Crazy, but you never know with Funko. All right. Do you guys like Rick and Morty? There's actually three new pops that came out. I got two of them because the third one wasn't available. Um, we got Rick with a crystal skull. Brand new pop that dropped today. Rick, and I'm just showing you the picture there before I turn it to the side. There's Rick holding a crystal skull. I feel like there's a billion of these damn pops to collect. <laughs> but really cool. Um, definitely, definitely, if you're a Rick and Morty fan, you like this one, uh, you're going to have to want to get this one. Now, I will show you the two new ones. Um, there's actually not two new ones. There's five new ones. Um, I got... Um, I got two of the five so those are the five new ones that are coming out um i got this one here and so those are the five new ones um two already came out so this one dropped um and then this one dropped space suit morty with a snake and the snake's got a space helmet on just showing you from the side so you can get a really good angle because there is a lot of glare um, but there is space suit Morty with a snake and the snake has the helmet on. There's also Rick space suit with the snake, uh, with the helmet on as well. Um, and you can see that one here. That one has not dropped, but I'm getting that entire set. You better believe it. Um, and of course now I think almost all of us, when we think of Rick and Morty, we think of my sister. She's not my real sister, but she's my, she's definitely my YouTube sister, uh, we think of Ash Cheeks, uh, Ashley. Um, I know she loves Rick and Morty Pops. 
and Ashley, these are out. Um, the other one should be dropping tomorrow, actually, or the next day. They should have came out today. I uh, don't know why they didn't, but um, they're they're dropping now. So check your stores. They might be in your area. Guys, I'm going to show you some trolls, man. The trolls dropped. I'm going to unbox a couple of them. I'm going to show you some other stuff. If you're a fan of Black Mirror, if you're a fan of My Hero, stay tuned. Um, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so... We got some trolls that dropped. This is a GameStop exclusive troll with the yellow hair. You're not going to see that one on the back. So those are the four trolls plus the yellow one, which is a GameStop exclusive. Um, I'm sure Funko Shop is going to come out with one. Matter of fact, you're hearing it from me first here. Funko Shop is going to come out with one. I don't know if they are, but they come out with everything. So I wouldn't doubt it. They came out with a peep. They came out with a sour patch, which actually, that's not that one, but actually got the the lime sour patch here but um they come out with everything so just they're probably going to come out with a damn troll <laughs> so you remember these as kids um they're pretty cool i didn't really play with them a lot my sister collected them my sister played with them um i did play with them because they were my sisters and i definitely loved taking the troll and you would do like that and the hair would go all crazy so you're probably thinking like hmm what's up with the hair is it Funko hair? Meaning, is it made out of plastic? Or is it real hair? Well, I'll tell you what. I got the pink troll. I got the orange troll. So the only ones I'm missing is the rainbow troll. And then the blue troll. Those are the only two I'm missing. So, since you asked the question, what kind of hair do they have? They actually have troll hair. So we're going to unbox the pink one. Why? Just because I want to do the pink one. And... Matter of fact, let me just unbox it from the bottom. There we go. See how easy that did? That opened up. I almost forgot my own trick of unboxing on the bottom. All right, guys. The video. I'm going to wrap up the video soon, I promise. But there's just so many pops. But yes, it's got the damn troll hair. <laughs> Funko did it right because they actually put the troll hair on the troll. That is so dope. <laughs> so you can you can do it just like you could used to play with trolls as a kid if any of you played with trolls as a kid you could troll them out shake their head and they go back well somewhat you can just go like that and then you can put them back in the box <laughs> he's got his troll hair these are so cool because they have the troll hair i'm not a big fan of the whole belly button piercing that's what i call it i know it's just a jewel there but um i'm not a big fan of that per se but love the troll hairs these things are dope, man. I'm sorry. Got to get them. I'm going to collect all of them. Um, even the exclusive ones that come out, like the GameStop and any other one. I'm sure Hot Topic will get one. Funko Shop's probably going to come out with one. Well, we're going to see all sorts. But the rainbow one is, is one I really want to get. And same with that blue one. So at least to finish up this set until they start dropping more. But um, So I'm just missing those two. They haven't dropped or I would have bought them. So... Um, Guess what? I actually had those pre-ordered, um, and those are the three that came in. So, boom. All right. Have you ever seen Black Mirror? Black Mirror is a great show on Netflix. Um, those are all the pops in the series. And so I'm going to go through these quick. So there's an episode. This is season three, episode four. How do I know? Because it says it right there. Plus, I'm a big fan. So season three, episode four, you have this very interesting dynamic where you have this nerdy girl... And I'm not going to take too long to tell you the story. And you have this pretty wild chick. Um, and this girl is attracted to this chick. And so is pretty much every guy because she's just awesome. So starts off in the, I want to say the 70s or 80s. I think it's the 80s. They kind of jump time. They go all over the place. I'm not going to ruin it. But they time travel. How do they do it? You got to watch. But it's badass. And these are the two main characters and guess what? It actually has a happy ending, which I'm happy about. It's a strange ending. It's not, if you if you haven't seen the episode, it's going to take you to a place you didn't think you were going to go. That's what Black Mirror is about. It's almost, to me, it's like the new Twilight Zone. It's just super awesome show. And there's so many, there's not a lot of episodes. There's like five seasons, I think. And um, out of five seasons, there's only like a couple episodes per season. And though they don't last very long, they're not like two hour episodes or like an hour long. But they're really cool. Anyways, these are the two characters from that same show. Um, this is an this is one of their best shows. So if you're gonna watch it, watch 
So you can start with these three I'm going to show you. Uh, season three, episode four. That's definitely one to get you going. This is a badass one too. You got Robert and you got um, Mrs. Cole. So this is season four, episode one. They definitely kicked off season four with a bang. So you got the Star Trek kind of dude here who, um, again, I don't want to give away anything and please don't in the, in the comments below, but you have this character here who is a captain of the ship, just like Star Trek. And he has this secretary of his in real life, in real life. She's also part of the ship or she becomes part of the ship. And there's a huge twist to how he's able to control everybody because he seems to be a real nice guy in real life. But when he plays this character, I can't give it away. He's a real a-hole. <laughs> and she learns how to trick him. It's a really cool show. Trust me. Again, it's just super awesome. You got to watch the show. But there you go. Um, I have the entire set except for the chase of, of the next one I'm going to show you. Um, and there you go. So this is a really cool show. These two characters um, play off each other very well. Season 4, Episode 1. He gets what's coming to him. Thank God. She uh, is outsmarts him. Thank God. It's a really cool episode. You got to check out Black Mirror on Netflix. I highly recommend it. Awesome show. And then I pre-ordered six of these to try to get the chase. I couldn't get the chase, which is okay. So I picked up, I gave one of my daughter, I picked up four of them. So I have two left uh, for my collection. Uh, same one, uh, nothing different except that the chase one has an anarchy sign on. So you'll have to watch the episode to find out why there's an anarchy sign, which is at the very end of it. Season 5, episode 3. And Miley Cyrus actually plays the singer in the show. And they made this doll off of Miley Cyrus. But not because necessarily Miley Cyrus wanted to. Um, it's another twist that you have to watch the show. Um, but I'm telling you, this is one of the most watched episodes of all of all season 5s. Um, and this is Ashley 2, a cool robot um, that interacts with people. You got to check it out. Badass Funko Pop, by the way. And uh, the only one I'm missing is the chase with the A for anarchy on the chest. Um, Tracer, now that this is kind of up here. Uh, got two more left, guys. How about this one? My Hero Academia Pop in a box. And then I'm going to go ahead and let you know we're going to open up Kylo Ren Target Exclusive pop in a box but how about we do my hero academia first pop in a box they only had extra large available i wear size large but um i'll still rock the shirt um i'll probably just have to wash it once before i wear it but these are the last two to wrap it up before i open this up it's not a really a pop but check out what i picked up i'm a huge overwatch fan so i got the hook from road dog <laughs> i got the chain hook yes you can see me through it from Road Dog, and no, I don't cosplay, but this is just so awesome. They sold this at GameStop, so yes, I picked up the chain hook from Road Dog from Overwatch. Really cool, really cool, really effing cool. So huge, right? Not a pop, not made by Funko, but definitely a cool toy to collect. Um, wanted to throw that in the video as well. All right. I said I didn't want to make a 25, 30 minute video. Here we are making one. I apologize, but guys, this is an epic haul part two. It can't be epic and only be 10 minutes. Why? Because there's just too many things to show you. And I did go through them pretty quick, except for some of the stories that I told, but um, they needed to be told in my opinion. So um, if you guys haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the subscription button, thank you for the love and support guys. Uh, means everything to me really does guys it really does thank you so much for the love and support we got oh snap and we have to take this one out of the box because you have the regular version but you don't have the metallic version of him and uh <laughs> we gotta pop him out of the box we gotta pop him out and i'll show you the shirt here in a minute i'm just nervous to take this one out this one dropped, okay? This one dropped, I believe, a couple days ago. Um, but I just got back into town um, from visiting uh, my parents. So, for the holidays. But here we go. Look at that tail. 
and I think he's metallic. To me, that's metallic. Um, could be wrong, but I believe this is the metallic version of him. Super, super cool pop. And it should stand up by itself because it doesn't have a stand. The tail is what helps it stand up because just by the feet alone, it wouldn't have stood up. So there he is. Um, I'm not going to pronounce his name because I can't. I, I tried before and I screw it up. And then people tell me, that's not how you say his name. So out of respect to not knowing how to pronounce the character's name, I'm not going to say his name. But I will say that I love My Hero Academia. I haven't seen season four yet. And it's on Hulu. I can watch it anytime. I've just been busy with other stuff. Um, watching other series like The Witch or other stuff. I will catch up. But I have seen seasons one through three. Um, so there you go. GameStop exclusive. Really cool. Got to get protectors for all these. Let's take a look at the shirt. And then we're going to wrap it up with that Kylo Ren glow in the dark uh, pop and a t-shirt. So this is what the t-shirt looks like. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Love the color purple. So I've got some shoes this is going to match perfectly with. And then we got... Kylo Ren, First Order, Glow in the Dark. Um, it's not going to look like much, I don't believe, just because all his pops kind of look the same, to be honest with you. Um, and it's it's the same exact version of the 10-inch, except this is the 4-inch um, the, the version of them, because I'm looking at the 10-inch right now. That's a Glow in the Dark. It's the same exact position, same exact everything. Um, it's 100% identical to the 10 inch glow in the dark, except this one glows, which I'm assuming, um, the red is the part that glows on him. So really cool pop. Hey, if you're a Star Wars fan and you're collecting the Kylo Ren's and you're collecting, you know, if you know what happens to Kylo Ren, no spoilers, please in the bottom. Um, then yeah, then you might want to collect Kylo Ren pops. So, um, I'm a Star Wars fan, so I collect what I like. And so, I'm, of course, I'm going to buy it because I like it. The shirt is really cool, though, because it has the, um, the Sith Troopers in there. Um, really cool, really, really cool shirt with the Sith Troopers. First Order, Kylo Ren. And, uh, yeah, that's dope, man. That's just a sick shirt. This is a really cool shirt. Shirt's a little bit cooler than the pop, only because most Kylo Ren, sorry Funko, but my most Kylo Ren pops look almost the same. Um, can't lie, they do. Uh, Got to keep it real 100%. So, um, but doesn't mean I'm not going to buy it, right? Because it's got the Target sticker on there. Um, it's an exclusive, so got to pick it up. Uh, that wraps up the video, guys. If you stay through all 28 minutes plus... Uh, thank you so much again for watching, guys. Please be kind to one another. I got more content coming. I got some more Tiny Ghosts that came in. If you're a Tiny Ghost fan, I got another Tiny Ghost video coming. Um, if you haven't seen my Tokidoki video, um, those are some cool Tokidokis that came out. So Little Terrors, that was the video before this one. Definitely check that one out. If you like Tokidoki, I'm a huge fan of Tokidoki. I got so many of them, so many of them. Uh, actually getting very, very, very close to 500 Tokidokis. Um, and I'm talking about like, you know, individual uh, Tokidoki um, minis and stuff. So i um, getting real close to 500. So huge, got a huge collection of that as well. But guys, thank you for watching. Please be kind to one another. I will see you guys on the next video. More content coming. Stay tuned, guys. Um, and happy Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. Sorry if I didn't say that. Just spending time with the family. Um, spending some time, uh, well-needed time with the family for the Christmas time. But I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. Please be safe. Please be kind to everybody. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.